Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my full review on the Pena Nyes X-Series Apache with the kickstop mechanism. So I actually got a little bit of tape on there because I was just unboxing something with it. Let's see, I should have some alcohol on here somewhere. I can get that off. Ah. There we go. So, yeah, I just did an unboxing with it, and uh, guys, spoiler alert, I absolutely love this knife. It's incredible. Uh, it, I mean, it came in at the end of 2021, but it's one of my favorites, guys. I think that uh, Pena just killed it by adding this kickstop mechanism from Lee Williams, and um, if he uses this on the Barlow or the Trapper or whatever man, I'm going to have to get them all. Like, I thought the front flippers were cool, but they just never really worked for me as a lefty perfectly. And the size was just too small. But with this uh, kickstop, it just adds, you know, it's excellent to deploy. And then it fits comfortably in hand, no worries, because that hidden flipper tab. So let's get into it um, real quick. I got my Dr. Pepper cream soda, so let me get a little bit of that. All right. Here we go. So I picked this up a couple weeks ago, and I have literally fallen in love since the moment I unboxed it. Sitting at the restaurant table with my good buddy Joe. We were having lunch, and this got delivered right before I went to lunch, so I brought it, and I opened it there. I couldn't wait to do a video, and man, I was just so excited. So, let's talk about this knife. Materials. We have an M390 blade, okay? You got this sheep's foot, worn cliff, reverse tanto type blade, which is obviously, at this point, my favorite blade shape. Um... You have marbled carbon fiber, which is absolutely stunning. Great carbon fiber choice by Riot and Pena. You have a titanium bolster lock. I love how they do this stone wash or whatever that is on the titanium. Titanium clip and backspacer. And the hardware, I believe, is also titanium, but I can't be certain. And then it has this Lee Williams kickstop mechanism, which basically is a flipper tab that also acts as a stop pin and it hides away in the handle. So you'll see a flipper tab here, no flipper tab here. It hides away in the handle here. So that line is where the flipper tab starts and it becomes a stop pin and then hides there. And then you have the full length of the handle to use as a grip. And you can see here, as it closes, it becomes like a dongle. See how it comes out? And then it'll close and lock into place. There is no uh, rattle or movement or anything on that flipper tab. So I know some people worry that there's going to be like flipper play, so to speak. But you don't feel anything. It is attached with tiny phosphor bronze washers on each side of the stop pin sort of deal. And that's how it's attached. If you want to see a disassembly video, go check out uh, Nick Shabazz. Shabazz did a video disassembling this. All right. So aesthetically, I absolutely love this knife. Uh, I don't think I ever reviewed the Apache because I had it, I think, before the channel started. And I only had it for like a day. I sold it like immediately because I knew... The front flipper version was just too small for me to be able to reliably front flip and then do it left-handed because left-handed you have no clip over here and you're trying to like flip this tiny little thing where right-handed you have the clip to grab and you can really, you know, get some leverage, but it's still just so small. Uh, so I don't think I ever reviewed the... Um, the front flipper version. I don't think I reviewed any of the front flippers other than the large sway back and the um, 
the uh, damn it, the Lanny's clip. I love the Lanny's clip. Um, so those are the ones I've reviewed, but this just really blew me away. I saw this flipper tab and I was like, what? And it just works so well. So anyway, uh, aesthetically, I think it's a gorgeous looking knife with that sheep's foot. Just got a very good neutral profile to it. Uh, ergonomically, it just fits so well in my hand. I have a large glove size hand, but without that flipper tab there, I can get a full four finger grip easily. So I basically had like a little gentleman's carry knife here, right? And um, so again, ergos are fantastic. Getting into cutting, this is a flat grind, but it's done exceptionally well. The grind is done very well. You have that beautiful Riot belt satin. I believe this was $300, by the way. I just want to put that out there. I, sometimes I forget the name price, sorry. Um, but yeah, just a gorgeous belt satin from Riot. And um, in terms of cutting, it's just exceptional. They did a great job on the edge. Comes down to a thin edge. You have what I think is a good um, sort of sharpening choil right there. I have no issue with that, but I'm not a sharpener. So, uh, again, you can check somebody else's channel to get that information. Uh, but for what I do, cutting shipping labels and such, you get such a good grip. You get into this pinch grip and you have such good control of that tip right there. It's right there. Cut into the label, cut into the package, cut into whatever you need. Um, you just have such good control. If you want to hold it like this with that small blade, it's just excellent. I just absolutely love cutting with this knife. I reach for it whenever I can to cut out shipping labels. It's just a dream, guys. Um, it's M390, so it's going to hold up very well. Um, it's basically the benchmark for steels at this point. You don't really need to worry about it, but it's not exciting, right? Um, so yeah, cutting's great. Carry is fantastic. It's a very slim knife in all directions. I mean, it's not super like thin, but it's not above average. It's lightweight. Um, it's small, so it carries very well. You have a little bit sticking out, but it's just not a big deal. I absolutely have loved carrying this in my back left pocket. That's where I carry right hand knives a lot. And when I've carried, when I've worn my 511 pants or Vertex pants, I think it's just called Vertex, right? Um, I carry it in that extra mag kind of pocket, and man, it just disappears. Uh, it's a fantastic carry, guys. The acoustics are amazing. Amazing, amazing. So it just sounds really snappy and crisp and it has a, just a whack when it comes out, right? Just the way that D10 is dialed, whack. And then when it disengages, clicks to your nail and then shake, shake, shake. Sometimes you get a little bit of a click from the uh, flipper tab there when it kind of like re-engages the flipper tab. I love that. And then a nice thud when it closes. I mean, guys, acoustically, it just is something to behold. You just sit here and you hear a noise for everything in a good way. I love it. I love the acoustics on this knife. Um... Action, guys. It's incredible. The detent is so dialed. Bang. Like, I've never failed it. You can't fail this. You cannot fail this knife. And it just feels so, so good to flick out. Now, there is no lock bar insert on here. That's one thing they had to remove because, I don't know, price or because of the kickstop, they had to move the lock bar up to here and maybe they didn't have room for it. I'm not sure. But it doesn't need it. They obviously carbonized the lock face and it works. There's no stick of any kind. I've noticed no difference. It feels fantastic. Um, yeah. And the closing action, bang. You don't have a flipper tab in the way trying to hit you somewhere so that it doesn't close all the way. So you get so many benefits of having the flipper tab, but you get none of the drawbacks. It drops to your nail a little bit of shakage, and she's home, man. It's very smooth, very good action. This is a knife, guys. 
for whatever this will mean to anybody, I have never adjusted this knife once. I am trying to think of another knife that I've gotten. The only other one recently is the uh, EDX, the Osprey EDX. Also a Riot made knife by Oaks Works. This is another knife. I just have not touched the pivot. I haven't tried to add bearings. I haven't done any of that. Uh, it's just dialed so well from factory. I didn't want to mess it up. I just didn't want to. And there's no play. There's no rock. There's no nothing. And it drops like that. And just a couple shakes, she's down. For a sub three inch knife, that is amazing. I love the action, guys. We're dead centered, so there's no reason to mess with it there. Um, you know, value, $300? Hell yeah. Riot made titanium M390 marbled carbon fiber kickstop mechanism which is something you have to license. So you have to pay for that too, obviously. Um, all of that combined for $300 is just incredible. Sorry. Um, yeah, it guys, it's a home run, just grand slam knife right here. This is one I full heartedly recommend, full heartedly, wholeheartedly recommend you pick up. I'm pretty sure they're still available. Um, uh, I've seen them at retailers still in my card. I think marble carbon fiber, even, um, left-handed, it works so well. There's nothing stopping you from using this left-handed. Uh, it's very comfortable, very comfortable in all aspects, left-handed. I never worry about like touching this, you know, uh, bolster lock and locking it up. It does lock it up, but I've never done that on accident ever. Uh, right-handed, it just is such a dream to fidget with. Uh, and then on top of all that, it's an excellent blade. It's just such a good cutter, such a good box opener, label cutter. It, it's the whole package, guys. This, you know, if we're talking about getting Christmas gifts for somebody in your life that you love and you want to give a knife to, this is it right here, guys. This would be one of those showstopper unboxings on Christmas Day um, for yourself or for your husband, for your wife, whatever. I mean, this thing is incredible. I cannot wait to see uh, if Pena adds this kickstop mechanism to his other designs because a Barlow with this kickstop, uh, I think for me, would be one of the perfect knives. I love that design. I just love the look of the Barlow. And having that kickstop would be amazing. But the Apache by itself is just... It, it has kicked so many other knives out of rotation for me that I love so much. Like, I love the MBK Slayback. I haven't even thought about it since I got this knife. It's just so good. Um, so, anyway, guys, I absolutely love this knife. Recommend it to everybody. And, um, yeah, I love you all. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want to. Oh, you know what? I think Urban EDC Supply might have some of these. And I have a link below to their website. You can use that affiliate link. I'll get 10% commission. Unfortunately, you don't get a discount. But it does help the channel. Uh, so if you want to use that, that would be cool. Uh, but you can get it at other places as well, I believe DLT has it, Knife Joy, all those good places. Uh, I full, full heartedly, I wholeheartedly recommend all those retailers as well. Um, yeah, guys, I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I really hope you're enjoying a Kickstop Apache yourself. Uh, have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.